If you're here for this look, then keep on watching. Hello, my name is Krisha. I am 21 years old and welcome to a another day of 31 um welcome to the halloween series today i believe is day 10. the thing is this is actually the first video of the whole series that i'm filming um and i'm pre-filming today is literally september the 2nd and i'm pre-filming and i tried doing my hair for this look obviously it doesn't look the greatest by the title of this video i'm basically i'm basically going to show you how to do a simple skull skull makeup is possibly the easiest and quickest, like the easiest like way to make you look good on Halloween. So we're gonna be doing that. So yeah, let's get started. <laughs> so the only material I'm going to use that's outside of a normal makeup kit is Ben Nye Black Paint. You can obviously use gel liner, you can obviously use eyeshadow, you can obviously use these things. The only reason why I'm using the Ben Nye is because it will be the easiest way for you guys to see how I'm outlining. Don't get grease paint. Grease paint is disgusting. Either get water activated paint or cream paint. So I honestly would recommend Ben Nye. Um, this is from my stage makeup class. It came in this little wheel and it has other stuff too. I've used this for like a lip color and blush. This is the Cream Contour Wheel Fair Light Medium. And honestly, you can just pick this up. Ben Nye is really cheap, and I honestly would recommend it, but you don't have to use black paint. The only reason why I'm using black paint is just to make it easier for you guys to see what I'm doing. So yeah, first, um, this is the only thing that I'm gonna be using that is not a normal makeup product. Uh, everything else I'm gonna be using, you can pick up really easily. So first, I'm going to prime my face with the Milk Hydro Grip Primer and the Catrice Prime and Fine Primer. Obviously in 2020, you're not gonna be going to a huge party, but if we wanted this to quote unquote last all night and in sweat, and honestly, doing a skull is the easiest, easiest way to do something cool for Halloween, but it's also the simplest thing. I am going to be doing a very intricate skull on a later date, but this is just the start for now. Oh my God, I need to get more of this. I'm out. Oh, I think I'm gonna get the big one. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna make the leap. So now for base, I'm choosing the Maybelline uh, 24 hour Superstay because this is full coverage and it is matte. So it'll dry on its own and we'll be able to draw on top of it without having to set it first. I'm gonna give it a little shake. I haven't used it in a while. And this is a lighter shade than my own. So now I'm gonna take a foundation brush and I'm going to just wet it with a little bit of setting spray. This is a trick that will allow your makeup to stay on longer because the formula of the setting spray is mixing in with the foundation and allowing it to stay on longer. Even though this foundation literally lasts for, it could last for decades, I swear to God. I'm always, we're blending down the neck. Oh, in person you can't see that big of a difference, but on camera, it's so weird. It's so weird what a camera will pick up and what um, you won't see in real life. And then we just go over it with our sponge just to make sure there are no streaks in the makeup. Even though it doesn't really matter on certain areas because we're gonna go over it with black paint. And now I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of lightning. Um, just a little bit of concealer because I, I need it. Just a little bit, like not a lot. And also remember you don't need concealer on all of your problem areas because you're gonna be covering them with black paint. Some of this actually isn't really necessary. And I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna use eyeshadow base, I'm just gonna go over it with the excess. So now just wipe off the makeup off your lips. If you want, you can cover your lips in um, foundation. And also, if you want to do a complete white base, that's fine too. I just like, I didn't really feel like it today. So I'm gonna take, this is just a really flat, but also extremely cheap brush. Honestly, like I would recommend buying like a paintbrush or something, like don't wreck your good quality brushes on Ben Nye. And first we're gonna start with the eyes. Now basically with the skull, feel your face and feel where your orbital bone is 
Like, your brow bone, the reason why you put, like, it's a bone, literally. You can feel it. That is where your skull is. Now, if you want to go larger than what your skull is, then you can obviously do that. That's fine. So, I'm going to feel around. I'm going to start with the line here and feeling around. You know what, actually screw it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a different brush. And again, you can use eyeliner. You don't have to use Ben Nye. I'm just using Ben Nye because it's easier for you guys to see because it is really black. So I'm gonna feel, and my orbital bone ends there. And just connecting the two. There you go. And then we're just gonna keep feeling around. There you go. And you can take artistic liberties with like how you want your skull to look. Like um, you can just make it a circle, you can make it super cartoony, or you can make it super realistic and actually have a reference picture of skulls. I'm just showing you a very easy way. So you can always like remember, just follow like, like you have bones there. It's not like you're Olaf, you're like, I don't have a skull or bones. And also just in case your bones don't have to match, the human body is notorious for not being symmetrical. like. Those two are completely uneven. So I'm just gonna... That's like a little better, but still not 100%. So now we're gonna keep going. We're gonna do the nose. Now the nose is the easiest bit, to be honest, because all of your nose is cartilage. There is no actual bone. Like your ear, the reason why you can like bend it like this is because it's all cartilage. Like you don't actually have an ear bone. Like you can feel the difference, like if you press here it's really squishy, but if you press here it's hard because this is where the, no the bone is. Start off in the center of your nose and just make a little dot and I'm going to actually go under my nose, do a little dot here, I don't know if you guys can see that. Now your nose, honestly you should look up reference pictures to how you want to do your nose. This is how I just do my nose because it's the easiest way for me to do it. And then... I'm just gonna go around and do a little bit of this, like so. And this we're gonna fill in black, but right now it looks very weird and it looks like a Muppet nose, so. I guess that's like the fun part about face paint is that like if you truly mess up, you can just go back and fix it. So now we're gonna move on to your temples. Again, you can feel where your temple recedes and where it doesn't. So I'm just gonna, like right here, And you can feel it, it's like the top of your cheekbone over here. Now we just connect the two. Same thing over here. Just feel around and go for it. All right. There we go. And now we just move on to the cheekbones and the mouth. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna feel all right here, this feels pudgy because there's no bone there. Basically, if you look at a human skull, there's like a huge gap there because your jaw is down here and then it connects back here and then you have your cheekbone, but you have nothing there. That's all teeth. Like, that's why you can go like, you can go like this. Because there's no bone there. So, just feel, again, just feel around. Like, this is where your cheekbone is, so we're gonna draw a line here. We're gonna draw, 
same thing. We're gonna feel around. We got a cheekbone there. Also look at a lot of reference pictures when you're doing this. I've just done this before, so I know like the general, general vibe. <laughs> so now we're gonna look for our jaw and like the there's a bone here. So let's look for the jaw and it's right here, so. All right. Okay, those two are completely uneven. So now let's talk teeth because teeth are hard so basically what you're drawing is we're doing the darkness we're not doing the light so you're basically drawing where the lines of your teeth are so you're not drawing teeth necessarily so let's start and we're just gonna do a little bit of teeth and also remember your front teeth are typically smaller than your back teeth if you want to do more realistic like that, honestly, just drawing lines is also fine. And go as far as you have teeth. So, this is my molar, right here. So I know it'll go out to almost those lines. And also, if you fuck up, it's okay. You can just wipe it off and try again. So now we're gonna round out the teeth a little bit. like. You see, I'm going to show you with like a square. And again, you don't have to do this step. I found just rounding out the teeth, just this little bit, like really help. So now that we know where our teeth start and end, we can just, just round it out a little bit and then there we go. Let's just round this guy out and pretend that this is another tooth. And just add it into there. All right, that looks dope. Oh, we're gonna, we gotta extend this back, the hairline. All right, so there you go. That's basically your entire outline for your, that's basically your entire outline for your skull. Now you just fill it in. A big, and a big thing I will say, I will always say when it comes to doing Halloween looks, especially with face paint just go with the flow like you you saw me when i messed up i didn't like don't panic everything's gonna be fine just go in just like just even them out like honestly honestly like you might be shocked and like the fix of the mistake better than you having to go back in and like redo everything wow that already is looking really cool Again, always be careful around your eyes. Be always be careful around your eyes. Take your time. Don't be an idiot. I'm actually gonna go in with the other brush to finish my my eyes. I actually want to fill in my eyebrows. Wait. I'm just running the brush over my brows. Like I'll go through it with a spoolie, but like just to go over the hairs. All right, so now, oh, ew, I'm making it a mess on my desk. All right, so now with my sponge, I'm gonna take translucent powder, if I can find any, I don't know where I put it. And I'm just taking Cody Air Sponge because it's translucent. And I'm going to just double check that I like everything. I'm gonna go over my eyes just a second time. Just to really set everything because Ben and I has a nasty habit of creasing so easily. <laughs> and like you can, like after you powder, like do some finishing touches if you so desire. 
Okay, so first I'm going to set, um, I'm gonna start from the bottom up. Pat my eyes one more time just to make sure nothing, nothing has creased. Ew, oh god, I got Cody airspun everywhere. So just very gently with a giant brush, just wipe away all the excess powder. And setting spray is really gonna help bring it back to life because right now it does look a little muted and a little matte instead of like that stark black from before. So setting spray is gonna help with that, don't worry. And if it doesn't, you could always go in with like black eyeshadow. I am going to take a black eyeliner and put that in my waterline. Just any black eyeliner is fine. This is the ColourPop one. And I'm just, this is my um, stage makeup mascara. I use this in stage makeup. This is probably the only time you're ever gonna see me use not Lash Paradise, but really any mascara will do. And this is just to coat the lashes. If you wanted to put on like really big false lashes, you totally could. But this is just to coat the lashes. Honestly, you don't need to do this at all. And finally, uh, last but not least, I'm gonna use setting spray. So I just paired this look with a leather jacket. Honestly, you can wear a skull any way you want to. I just thought like I had this, so I was like, I'm sorry, but I'm attracted to myself. So I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial for a really simple skull. Honestly, this is like one of the easiest face paints to do because even you can use reference pictures, obviously, but also like if you just feel around your face, you'll know where to go with the face paint. All right, so thank you so much. If you guys love this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you guys like me, please subscribe and you should subscribe anyway because we have, we have 31 absolutely amazing Halloween videos that are gonna come out this month. So stay tuned. Um, I'm gonna enjoy this day as a skull for some reason. <laughs> All right, thank you guys so much. And if you guys wanna see more videos like this, we, um, I am gonna have a huge playlist that's gonna be on my channel in case you wanna peruse some more. And on October 25th, I'm going to be doing a crazy intricate skull, which if I have a picture, if I've done it already, it'll be right here as like a teaser. All right, thank you guys so much. Bye-bye.